Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn object tracking. We will use our mouse to select an object and track it using different methods that OpenCV has to offer. This is a fairly simple tutorial, so it should be easy to follow. I upload videos on a weekly basis, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future content. So let's get started. So first we are going to import our package which is OpenCV. So we'll go to file, we will go to settings and then in our project we are going to add OpenCV. So here we will type in OpenCV and we will click on it, we will install the latest one. So once it is done we are going to import CV2. Now uh, what we are going to do, we are going to use a webcam to actually uh, do our tracking. So for that we need to write the code for uh, running a webcam and detecting the, uh, capturing the frames. So we are going to create an object. So we will write cv2.video capture and then we will write the, the number of our camera. So in my case I have an external camera so it will be 1. So here we will introduce our while loop. So we will write while true and then we will write uh, success, success and then image is equals to cap.read. So this should give us our frame and then we are going to show this frame. So we will say cv2.im show and we will write for example tracking and then we will write img and at the end we will write if cv2.wait key one and so this is to see if we have pressed the q key and if we have we are going to break and finish the program so that's about it so if I run this now it should run so I will right click here and press run let me check my camera so let me run again and there we go so now we are getting the, ca uh, the feed from my camera and uh, the next thing we can do is we can we can check for the the frames per second so we are going to write down our FPS so we can write here timer is equals to CV2 dot get tick count and then uh, before we show we are going to write our FPS so we will say FPS is equals to CV2 dot get tick frequency tick frequency and then we are going to divide it with CV2 dot get tick count get tick count minus timer so that we get our frames per second so we can display this on our main screen so we can write cv2 dot put text and we are going to put it on the image and we are going to convert it into a string before we put it there fps and then we have to define uh, where we want to put it so we will put it um, let's say 75 and let's say 50 and then we are going to write cv2 dot font we will pick any font and then we will write down our scale as 0 0.7 and then we will write a color let's say it is uh, what do you want to put uh, let's put any color 0 uh, 0 and then 255 and at the end we will define the thickness as 2 so let's run that 
and there you go so we are getting our um, frames per second but it is in decimals as well we will convert it into integer so there you go so we are getting the frames per second uh, actually this is too thick let's change this to font um, let's make it simplex and yeah let's run that again that's a little bit better okay so now that we have the frames per second what we need to do is we need to introduce our tracking so now we have different types of trackers that OpenCV provide by default we have boosting we have KCF we have median flow we have uh, moves we have a lot of them and for each one of them we have to uh, initiate the tracker so for this example um, let's start we will change the trackers later on but let's start with the moves tracker so we will write tracker is equals to cv2 dot tracker and then we have to write moves underscore uh, create and then brackets now if i run this now you will see something weird now it says that cv2.cv2 has no attribute tracker moves create now this is because we have to install another package in order for the trackers to run so we will go to file settings and then add and then we will go to opencv contrib python yes there you go so this is the package that contains all the trackers so we are going to install that too and there you go so once that is done now if we run it again it should not give that error so that is well and good now in order to run the tracker we are going to first initialize it with a bounding box we are going to say that we want to track this part or this object and uh, to initialize that we are going to detect the first frame so what I mean by that is we are going to take a frame from our webcam before we start the while loop and then we will drag uh, a bounding box around it so that we can initialize our tracker so as we have done before here we are going to take our frame and then we are going to uh, using this image that we have taken we are going to initialize our bounding box so our bounding box is equals to now cv2 has a function that allows you to uh, create a bounding box around uh, an image so that is uh, select ROI select ROI and then we will define where we want to find we are going to define the window name which is tracking and then we are going to define our image and then we are going to say uh, false now next we are going to initialize our tracker using this uh, bounding box so we will say tracker dot initialize frame not frame image and then bounding box so if we run that and now if we click on our image we should be able to drag and when we press enter it will start our while loop so that is it for the initialization next we are going to run our tracker and uh, actually that is fairly simple to run uh, all we have to do is we have to update our tracker value so what we need to do we will write success and then we are going to write our bounding box is equals to tracker dot update and we will uh, we will put our main image 
so this way it will get the bounding box and now all we have to do is we have to uh, draw this bounding box so if we are actually getting um, uh, we are finding the box we need to initialize it we need to draw it if you are not getting it we will say for example uh, the object is lost or something like that so we will write here if success success um, is true then we are going to draw our box um, and if it's not then we are going to uh, put the text somewhere saying lost uh, so this sorry this here is your box function that you will write here draw box and we will define and for now we will just write pass and over here we are going to write um, cv2 dot okay let's just copy because we have already written it we'll copy this here and we'll put it here so this is our text and this time around if it doesn't detect anything we are going to say for example lost and uh, we should put it a little bit uh, down let's keep it at the same point but a little bit down let's say 75 so let's run that and we will let's let's do this and now right now it's saying it is lost so that is good and if we don't do that if we select a good object then it will not say lost because it's able to detect it but now we did not uh, put the bounding box so we cannot see it so we will go back and in the draw box we are going to write the function to uh, draw our box so it is very simple all we have to do is we have to get our image we want to draw on and we have to get our bounding box that has all the values of it now uh, one thing to note here is that okay we can send in our image and we can send in our bounding box but one thing to note here the bounding box is not uh, a list so let, let me show you what I mean by that so we can print and we can write type and we can write bounding box so if we run that what happened okay so we need to write here pass so let's say we have this and you can see it's not um, it's, it's basically a tuple so what we have to do is we have to get each of these values we cannot directly use them in the bounding box we have to convert it into integers so we can say that uh, so if you're not familiar the bounding box has four values inside it uh, actually let me just print it out so you can see so oh, again the same mistake to write the pass uh, so let's put that and there you go so basically this is the X and this is the y of the initial origin and this is the width and this is the height of the uh, bounding box so uh, this means we have x y our initial positions and then we have the width and the height which is our bounding box so we are going to get it from our uh, bounding box um, tuple so we are going to write here integer because we want to convert it into integer and our bounding box at number zero so at number zero will be x so the same way at number one will be y then we'll write two more times and at number one will be y at number two will be width and number three will be height so now we have the individual values now all we need to do is we need to create a bounding box so we will say a rectangle and we want to draw it on this image and our initial position are X and Y and then we want X and Y plus the width and height so we will say the initial one is X plus width and then uh, Y plus height so these are the ones at the end and then we are going to write the color so let's define any color 255 
let's say 0 and then 255 five again and then we can write 3 and then 1 so this is your um, thickness and your line type so if we run that should we run it or let's let's put if we are tracking or not because we are putting whenever it's disappears we are putting lost so whenever it's there we should put track so we can put copy this and we can paste it here and instead of lost we can say tracking and we can change the color to green so oh, let me run that again so let's select this press enter and there you go so we have our fps we are tracking right now and we can see our object if we move it around you can see it is tracking well so what we can do next is uh we can try a different um what do you call it, trackers so right now we used uh the moose create um and then we can use tracker is equals to one of the ones that i really like is uh, csrt so we are going to use that tracker and we will say crst and we will say underscore create now this one is basically it is a bit slower but it's more accurate than the moose so um, most of the times you are um, basically talking about a trade-off between speed and accuracy so for example in moose the speed is really high but the accuracy is lower in crst um, sorry csrt cs RT the the accuracy is high but the speed is low so we can see here the frame rate will drop so let's run that so you can see the frame rate is about eight nine um, and you can see there is a little bit of a lag but this will give you uh, better results in terms of tracking So I'm going to add all these uh, different trackers on the main code uh, that you can find on GitHub. So you can try all of these different types and you can choose which is the best one for your project. And I also recommend reading about these uh, trackers. Uh, there is a good blog uh, by someone named Ghazar. Uh, you can find it here. I will put the link in the description and uh, this guy he has written a brief description for each of these trackers that OpenCV has to offer and he does a fairly good comparison of uh, their pros and cons their speed accuracy and he goes um, briefly into a little bit of detail of how each one of these work so in order to decide you can read about these in this blog post so this is it for today's uh, video I hope you have learned something new uh, if you have any uh, specific uh, topic you want to learn you can post it in the comments and don't forget to share like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video